Hi guys, welcome back, G-Man, My World 67. Well, what I have here is that uh, Mark's Water Tower that I reviewed in one of the last videos. I finally got around to, uh, I didn't get to work on it that evening, and I finally got around to just uh, going ahead and trying to put it back together finish it up. I wanted to complete it with this video. Um, I was not able right now to put a light in it. Uh, I was going to as I as I had uh, thought about it. I had pondered in the uh, first video. Uh, I did take that light emitting diode however and put it in the top of the tower. Now the problem with this light emitting diodes that I had purchased was is that um, unbeknownst to me uh, they were all 12 volt DC very low amperage about uh, 1.5 maybe 2 volts and uh, I couldn't run them. Uh, every time I hooked it up, the light would pop out. And so after about using two of those light emitting diodes, testing them, and that happening, I finally took the tester out and tested it and realized that I had a DC voltage uh, only diodes, but I thought I had purchased yeah, when I back a while back when I got those uh, AC DC, but anyhow, uh, not the case, and so I was not able to use that light emitting diode, and I really didn't have anything else that I really wanted to use at this time. I thought about using a a uh, Christmas tree light bulb, uh, and putting it in the base, which there is, uh, it's, it's sometime or another, Marx did make a uh, place for, in the bottom of the base of the tank, uh, for a light socket. And uh, you could actually put a, a full light socket in there, or, or could use this tank top to cover the... Uh, a beacon tower if you were using a beacon tower and you just had a tank top you wanted to put on it um, you could do that but that's not where we was at remember we purchased this uh, for I think it was a, a dollar some cents very good find very good buy needed a ladder tank top was broke off of it uh, I didn't think it had any broken stanchions but there were a couple. I re-glued them. Um, the tube was missing. And so I replaced the tube with a, uh, a straw. And I used a couple straws actually. I used a black straw and inserted it into the red straw. And uh, the straws work good, by the way, for water tower replacements. This uh, particular tower was supposed to be a bubbling water tower. And um, the replacement tube, the original tube for this, um, was a little pricey right now. And so I really didn't want to invest that extra little money into it. I, I just wanted to real simply add a light to it. I thought about adding a light down at the bottom of the base. Most towers, the old marks, and some of the Lionel, you could add a you had a bulb in the bottom of it, which would shine a light up through the tube, and that does work, by the way, even if you use a straw for the tube. The straw works great; nobody can tell it's a straw. And what I like about the straw is it also gives it another lighting effect when it is lit. Uh, the straw lights up, sends the light up through, and then lights the tower. 
But unfortunately, we're not going to be able to do that with this one um, at this time. We might light it up later. Uh, but uh, I did get it all glued back together. It's all repaired. It's all fixed. Um, the one thing that's missing is the ladder. And that brings us to this one here. This is actually an old beacon that I've had uh, probably for 30 years, if not longer. And um, this is an old beacon tower. And I don't have a beacon anymore. And this thing was has been broken up several times in many different places. Uh, you can see it's it's missing the corner right now, and that's been replaced several times over the years. Uh, there's another corner that was replaced. There's another corner that was replaced. And so I said, well, I've got this old beacon tower, and they're basically the same tower. So I'm just going to take this ladder off of this beacon tower and put it on our water tower, uh, and then that, that'll be complete. And I'm just going to scrap out the old beacon tower. I could probably use it in another project somewhere else later on. It's got a good lamp socket in it, good light bulb. Uh, this rod is good to save. There's a metal rod that runs down in the center of that. And then there's the clips that are used to conduct the electricity. And so there's a lot of good usable parts on there. Even the uh, derrick itself uh, can be used uh, in a future project. And so uh, we're going to take that ladder off, put it on this one, and complete uh, this tower. I also like this little deal I made here uh, to go over that. When that's lit, it looks pretty neat. So if you get a little beacon tower and you, you want to light it up and you don't have the beacon for it, uh, you want to turn it into a water tower or any other kind of tower, this is actually an old air freshener um, container that I had picked up a year, you know, four or five years ago. I, I don't even know if they're still making them like this anymore. But it's, it's, there's a lot of different things you can use. to complete a tower and uh, that was one of the really neat things about this pretty old <laughs> beat up tower and like we always say don't despise the junk because this was a piece of junk and it's once again back to being a piece of junk but it's still usable I could still salvage that fix those corners again Put it back out on the layout and it would be ready to go. But it served its purpose. It's lived out its day. Someday I might decide to do that. I'll get another stand for it. Put it back together. But it's not anything that's necessarily something that uh, you got to have. And I've got uh, a beacon tower now that came in its original box. Okay. I'm going to try to set this camera up so that you can see what we're doing here. And let's see if we can. Naturally, I dropped the camera. In the stand. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, boy, we just really got it going here today. And I probably will not be able to edit that out, so I apologize. Beforehand. There we go. 
as I said, I've been having trouble with my wrist and my hands. My arms is much better now, uh, although it is hurting some today. Okay, real quickly, I've already uh, started taking this loose down here at the bottom. This is one of the clips that comes on those, connects to the bottom of the ladder. The electricity, uh, use that for the ground. And uh, the rod itself, here on the bottom, actually conducts the positive pole to the center of the bulb. And that's how these actually work. So now we're going to pull this ladder up out of here. And it won't let us. Now it's There we go. Now, on the bottom of this, I don't know whether you can see it or not, is this little brass contact. And that hooks into the ladder at the top and goes to the base of the light socket. And that's how contact is made. Those are good parts to have uh, later on. So you can use them for a multiple of different things. Okay. Now this ladder is a little tarnished. But it's not that bad. We're just going to wipe it down. Now you can actually clean it, wash it. If you've got one that's a little tarnished, you can actually wash it. Or you can take a, a light brush, a toothbrush. Wash it up real good and they'll look pretty good when you get done with them. Or you can just spray them down with some WD-40 or another penetrating oil. Any lubricant. Let it sit a few minutes, wipe it down, and they'll shine like new money. Now we don't need these clips on this. And as you can see down here, there is no place uh, in the base for holes to set the ladder down in, as it was for this one here. I don't know whether you can see that or not. They used a little different method when they put uh, these together. So what we're going to do is if I can get my fingers out of the way. I'm going to have to make a slight adjustment in the back side of the ladder. Pull it out just a little bit. Okay, let me straighten this up a little more. And probably bend them in just a little bit. Just 
set them in there like that. Then we'll come down here at the base. I hope you can see this. And we take these and we crimp that under. Just like that. Now when you get ready to crimp crimp it, you have to be real careful. You can't squeeze too hard because you'll crack your base. And actually once you get that set with those down in like they are, there's really no need to twist these on the end. But if you go ahead and do that, then you don't have to worry about it coming out. And there you have it. Tighten that one up just a little more. Can't get it. And there you have it. Mark's Water Tower rebuilt. Dollar uh, 89 cents, dollar 69 cents, whatever it was, plus shipping. And uh, it's still a nice water tower. One bubble, bubbling in very good condition. You're going to spend probably 25 bucks plus shipping or more. I've seen them as high on eBay as $45, $50. This one, of course, does not any longer light up and it does not any longer uh, have the bubbling uh, tube in it. But, it's a cheap fix. It does have uh, this diode in the, in the top, uh, which is translucent. And once you get light up to it, your diode will light back up. Now, if you've got a, a, a uh, AC diode, you're in great shape. If you've got a light you can put in it, you're in great shape. You're back running again. Well, that's all I have for you for now. Um, just wanted to share that with you. And uh, have a wonderful day. And uh, until we come back again. As always, happy trails to you. Or happy rails to you. <laughs> Goodbye.